The party's over, but not without two remnants left behind. I'm Kimberly Howard, why some say the city's actually cleaner than before the big parade. It is the day of St. Patrick's Day. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Chantel Middleton. Many of you are sitting down for your corned beef and cabbage, but for the most part, the party is over. Let's get right downtown where ABC News Channel's Kimberly Howard is standing by. Kimberly, anything going on? Well, Chantel, quite the different scene down here, at least compared to yesterday. In fact, other than random pieces of trash and these metal barricades, there's really no indication that anything happened here at all. Good news for the organizers of this event, where everyone is Irish. And Springfield loves to come out and celebrate 365 days a year, but one day of the year they celebrate like they're Irish. Leaving behind little surprises. There was a lot of lost dinner, a lot of green beer, and uh, a lot of garbage from the jello shots that everybody in town, I think, was selling yesterday. Armed with jumbo tongs and a bucket, Doug Ringer is on the job. A little fine tuning to do, but nothing much. Nothing much. Street cleaners make the round several times after the big parade, only missing your occasional beer can and forgotten candy. The crews that uh, done the overnight cleaning, excellent. Uh, it's. Uh, it's way less than it ever has been. It could be the luck of the Irish or the new regulations like no coolers, no glass bottles and a dollar wristband for everyone yeah. who wants a drink. You know, I was in contact all day with uh, with the Springfield Police Department. We had no no reports of any problems at all. Bars raked in their pots of gold. And besides serving the few day of St. Patrick's Day revelers, they just have to clean up. Uh, our cleaning guy, I think he uh, did a month of cleaning today as we did a month of sales. Back on the streets, green streamers droop a little lower and stacked barricades block off nothing but views of empty roads. It looks great down here. It may be cleaner than it was before we started. Now I do have to say, if you take a deep breath, you will sense that there is something lingering. My guess is it's the stench of stale beer. I guess it could be worse. Live in downtown Springfield, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel. All right, Kimberly, thank you so much. Yesterday's event cost about $20,000. The St. Patrick's Day Marching Band Parade Committee actually raised the money for it. At this point, no official headcount, but we're told turnout was in the tens of thousands.